What is up there everyone, it's the guy with the Game Attack here, and today I wanted to talk about the designated marksman rifles in Battlefield, and just give some advice based on my gameplay experiences with these weapons. Now it's a well known fact that this category of weapon is going to take a much more important role in Battlefield 1, as they're going to be the standard weapons of the medic kit. And one thing that I see a lot of people making a mistake with these weapons is just constantly spamming them. Now I admit, spamming them can be an effective tactic, the way it's designed in Battlefield 4 means that the sound the bullets make when they go past you is extremely loud and very disorientating, and it can be extremely irritating being killed by these weapons just because of how loud this sound is, but it is really in my opinion not the most effective way to use these weapons, because the way the bullet spread works in Battlefield is the longer you have sustained fire, or in this case the quicker you've pressed the trigger to fire each individual bullet, the more your bullets are going to deviate from where your crosshair is pointing, they are going to start to spread out a bit more and not necessarily hit where you are aiming. And this is where people are losing gunfights. I've actually won a numerous amounts of gunfights where it's been DMR against DMR and my enemy has just been spamming me a little bit too fast. I've been timing my shots and I've been landing all three that I need and it has given me the kill. And that's the main thing, with the way they work in Battlefield 4, it takes a maximum of three shots to kill with a designated marksman rifle, and it is generally going to take that many bullets to kill people. And you need to make sure that you do it in three bullets or less. So it means that you need to be very accurate and you need to be making sure that the bullets you're firing are hitting your target, especially if they're looking at you. I've had countless times where I've been outgunned by an M416 or an Ace-23, simply because they just output damage a lot quicker. But if you get the upper hand and you start timing your shots better, if you're outside their optimum range, you can outgun them as long as you time your shots. Now the marksman rifle I'll be using this particular gameplay you're seeing in the background is the M39 EMR. Now straight out of the bat this is not a particularly accurate marksman rifle, you often see with the ACOG scope how inaccurate this gun actually is. But I learned how to time the shots so that they are pinpoint accurate. Of course some of them don't go where I aim them. It is a simple fact with this weapon, not all of your shots will hit where your crosshair is going. But I increase my likelihood of hitting the target because I'm timing the shot so that the spread returns to its most accurate as soon as I'm putting the next trigger to fire. When you're running and you go from running to standing still, you'll notice how the crosshair goes from large to small. Think of it like this when you're firing. When you take your first shot, your crosshair increases slightly in size. If you immediately take a second shot, it will increase again, and the more and more consecutive shots you fire, the larger your crosshair is going to get. So what you want to do is time it so that the crosshair just reaches its smallest point again after the first shot when you fire your second shot. Now this is not a magic thing you do, just using one particular weapon for a reasonable amount of time, you will work out how long this time is and you'll be able to time your shots effectively. This gives you great capabilities at long range because you can actually out damage snipers, especially if you land your first couple of shots on them, and especially also if you have time to aim for a headshot, that then decreases your time to kill to two shots at all ranges. This makes them extremely deadly weapons and it just really increases your effectiveness on the battlefield. Now I'm not going to say never ever spread there are certain scenarios when you're in close quarters the enemy might be an engineer with a PDW and you have to just spray and hope the bullets connect so you can get the kill because at that range the designated marksman rifle is not going to be effective. Spraying can be effective in certain scenarios but in my opinion and from my personal gaming experience you are going to be so much more effective if you learn how to time the shots so that your spread is minimal. It means that you can hit more shots accurately, and as long as you've understood the bullet travel time of the weapon, you can take people down left, right, and center. I've had some really good games using the M39, and I've actually been really enjoying using the DMRs. They're a bit of a challenge, and what's more, it's going to be really useful to learn considering Battlefield 1 is just around the corner. The beta is coming up very soon, and I am really looking forward to that. But I do hope you found this video useful. It's something that I've just realised by using the M39 a lot and winning a fair few gunfights and also losing some by spamming my own weapon too fast. But I do hope you've enjoyed the video. This has been the guy with the gamertag and I'll see you on another video.